This slide concerns computing various quantities associated with the normal distribution, starting with our functions and ending with some Apple calls. In terms of our functions and keeping in mind that the third argument is sigma, not sigma squared, d norm will give you the value of the height of the probability density function f of x. So that's what the d indicates out front. The p indicates that this will give you the probability that x is less than or equal to some value little x and that is the cumulative distribution function f of x. Q norm, think of the Q as quantile, will give you some quantile of the distribution, that is F inverse of U. And finally, R norm will throw random variates that have the normal distribution. The Apple statements, once again, second argument is again sigma, not sigma squared. You begin by setting the random variable x equal to a normal random variable with parameters mu, the population mean, and sigma, the population standard deviation. Apple will accept symbolic parameters in this particular uh, case. So when you take the mean of x, it will return mu. When you ask for the variance of x, it will return sigma squared. When you ask for the skewness of x, it will return zero, and that's not surprising because the probability density function is symmetric, so you expect a skewness of zero. When you ask for the kurtosis, you will get three.